glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Thank you, Jesus. So, we are in an interesting time. And I want uh, the brother at the back, will you get for me the book of Isaiah? Chapter 29 and verse 10. Brother Kev, you could turn me down just slightly. Amen. And I just want to recap briefly uh, the state of the church. And then I want to continue on some things that we uttered Sunday morning for your good, for your edification. For us to remind you of the things that you already know and the truth that you're presently established in is not grievous, in fact, is needful so that in the event that we depart or we pass, the word of God abides steadfast and continues in your heart and in your life. We want God's word to have the preeminence. Your allegiance must be to the word of God, never to man. Cursed is the man who makes flesh his arm. I am a messenger of God come to show you the way of God so that your allegiance will be to God and to God's word. I am not God. Y'all better talk to me. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I'm the servant of God. I'm the messenger of God. Amen. But God stands alone. So if you give me verse 10, son, in the back. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 10. I just want everyone to read. Amen. All over the earth we had men standing up in the bishopric whose eyes have been shut by the Lord. And if we read the word of God, it says, For the Lord hath poured has out poured out upon you the spirit, the spirit of deep sleep. And what else has he done, son? And have closed your eyes. He has shut your eyes. Who? The prophets. The prophets. And your rulers. And your rulers. The seers. And the seers. Have he covered. Those that are supposed to have the vision and the revelation of God. They don't have it. We are in the days of Eli. When the word of the Lord was precious in those days. And there was no open vision glory to God because God wasn't revealing himself to the men that were standing in office because they had no true heart for him in vain they worship him keeping for commandments the traditions of men and he says so the vision of all is become is become unto you as unto you as what as the words of a book that is sealed when a book is sealed then the knowledge and the revelation and the instruction and the inspiration in that book you can't get it unless the seal be broken and when the seal be broken, then the book can be opened and the revelation of the book can be revealed to you. But right now, what happens is that the vision of all has become unto us as words of a book. That is sealed. That is sealed. Which men. Which men. Deliver to one that is learned. They to deliver to one that should know how to read. Say. Say. Read this. Read this. I pray thee. Please mm -hmm. for me. Read it. I need you to read it. Amen. Of whom speak of the prophets this of himself or some other man. He said you understand what you're reading. He said how can I except I have some man to guide me. And so saints we're supposed to be able to take the book of the scriptures and deliver it to a man that is learned that is taught of God and that man should be able to open up the book and read it and bring the revelation and the inspiration of God are y'all hearing what I'm saying Amen. and that inspiration cannot mm. it cannot be of any private interpretation Amen. knowing this first that no scripture or prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation all the scripture in the old got to line up with the new and line must be upon line precept upon precept here a little there a little I can't make one passage fight against another Amen. all the bible got to agree in harmony 
the moment that I make the Bible contradict, Amen. the book is sealed to Come me. On. On. And my eyes have been shut. Y'all yeah. following me? So look at and read. So he says, listen, I need you to read this. Mm -hmm. I pray thee. And he said. And what does he say? I cannot. I cannot. Why? For it is sealed. God has not revealed it to me. Glory to God. And so this is the state that we're in. So if you have not watched the message from Sunday on judgment being out of order, I want you to go back and watch that. That almost is necessary for you to watch that first before, amen, you hear what the Spirit of God is going to declare to you tonight because the book has been sealed. What happens in the pulpits today is what the Scripture plainly says is not being read. And what the scripture don't say, men are repeating and declaring as truth. So we profess according to the scripture that we don't know the day nor the hour when the Lord will return. But what we do know is that he will not return except two things occur. Come on. There'll be a falling away first and that man of sin, the son of perdition, Amen. be revealed. Mm -hmm. Two conditions. We have one, but the other is yet to come. Mm -hmm. It's a mystery of iniquity and spiritual darkness and wickedness that is working in the earth and the Holy Ghost is preventing it until the time has come for that mystery to be revealed. Until then, we stay sober. We stay submitted. We stay humbled under the mighty hand of God that when that time be revealed, we be found in the safety of God's embrace. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So, I made some statements on Sunday and I just want to teach you. Amen. Tonight I'm going to try my best not to preach because I want you to get this instruction in your ears. Judgment day is approaching. And if we look clear, carefully at the scriptures, it is prophesied through all the prophets and the law concerning the judgment day of Jesus Christ or the day of Christ's return. And we see it in types and we see it in shadows. One such shadow is our brother who received the first prophecy of the judgment and the coming of Jesus Christ, which was Noah. So look at the book of Matthew chapter 24. And let's start right at around verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. Mm -hmm. No. Not the angels of heaven. This is the day in which Jesus will return. Mm -hmm. Now we beseech you, brethren, that uh, you be not soon shaken in spirit or let or troubled in your heart concerning that day. Because that day has some requirements. Mm -hmm. That day is the day when God will judge the wicked and he will also gather us together into his bar. But there's some things that got to go down before that day comes. But he says of that day and the hour we don't know. We know the season, but we don't know the day. If anybody say Jesus coming back tomorrow, that man is a liar. Amen. Because the book said nobody don't know the day. If a man say Jesus coming tomorrow at 3 o'clock or he coming at midnight tonight, that is a liar Amen. and a deceiver. Why? Because we don't know the day. No, and not we, the angel. And we don't know the hour. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. No angel in heaven. Amen. No. They're ready. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for the commandment of the Father, but they don't know the day. Amen. And they don't know the hour. Amen. Amen. But no. look at the revelation that started from the beginning. What does it say? But as the days of Noah but were. as the days of Noah were. So shall also mm -hmm. the coming of the Son of Man be. So Mother Randolph, that which was done is that which 
shall be done. I want y'all to follow me. If we want to understand how it's going to look when Jesus comes, we can open the Bible and we can read Noah and Noah will give us the revelation of the coming of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says, as the days of Noah were, so shall also, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Noah's, Noah's judgment is a revelation of the judgment of Jesus Christ. Let's keep reading. For as in the days that were before the flood. In the days that were before judgment, when it first happened, mm -hmm. what were they doing? They were eating. They were eating. And drinking. And drinking. Marrying. Marrying. And giving in marriage. And giving in marriage until what? The day that Noah entered into so the ark. So until that day Noah entered in the ark, everybody was going on like I don't need to be saved ain't no judgment coming ain't no Jesus coming all things continue as they were I'm gonna just carry on with my life I'll get saved tomorrow and then Noah entered into the ark the word says he was the eighth person seven souls went in before him and he was the last and when that brother entered into the ark, something happened in verse 39. And knew not. They knew not. Until the flood came. Until the flood came. And what did the flood do? And took them all away. What did it, what the flood do? The flood came. And when that flood came, brother Theo, the flood took them. Mm -hmm. Who's the them? Those who were not in the ark. The flood took them. Them all away, all away. Yeah. So shall also mm. the coming of the Son of Man be. So here's a revelation: when the Son of Man come, first thing he's gonna do is look for those who are not in the ark, Amen. and he's gonna take them yeah. all away. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And so watch this. Here's how it's gonna happen. Amen. Because verse forty says, then, then. Shall two be in the field. Two will be in the field. The one shall be taken. One will be snatched. And the other left. In judgment. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on. Come and on. another will be saved. Uh -huh. Come on. Glory to God. Let's, let's look at this in another place. Let me make sure you got the right understanding. Give me Luke chapter 17 and verse 26 so that you understand what taken really means. We were taught one taken and another one left meant that the one taken went up in the rapture and the other one was left behind. My God, I'm going to tell you, if you ain't left behind, you ain't saved. Come on. Come on. When God sent the flood, he took away all them sinners. Who was left? Noah. Noah. And the eight souls that were saved... What happened? The book has been sealed, Jennifer. Glory to God. They've been reading it, but they don't have the revelation because God has shut their eyes. My God. Who was left? Noah. Where was Noah? In the secret place of the Most High God. Hallelujah. And he said of the Lord, you are. My, I'm trying not to preach. Glory to God. You are my refuge. So Noah stepped into the refuge when judgment came. It took the ungodly and the sinner and the wicked away. And only Noah was left. I'm, I'm glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Something to stir up in me when I think about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When I think how he sealed me in my forehead with the seal of the Father. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. Verse 26, what does he say? And as it was in the days of Noah. Let's go ahead and read it, son. So shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. What were they doing? They did eat. They ate. They drank. They drank. They married wives. They married wives. They were given in marriage. Amen. That means here that they had no respect for the message of God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says Noah was a preacher of righteousness, but they did not give ear to the preaching of the word of God. And what happened? Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. day that Noah entered into the ark. And what happened and that flood, same day? And the flood came. The flood came. And destroyed. Them. And de just what? Destroyed. Them. Matthew said it took them all away. Come on. When the Holy Ghost got in Luke, he made it more plain. It destroyed them all. I'm going to tell you the one taken got destroyed. On. The one left was saved. Come on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, yeah. Glory. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my Lord. My God, my God. That's it. Thank you. Come on. Yes, sir. Tell someone it's all going to happen. It's all going to happen. On the same day. On the same day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. The same day that God sent the destroyer to destroy everything that wasn't covered by the blood was the same day he said, I'm going to bring you right up out of Egypt. On the same day, I'm going to take the wicked, hallelujah, and then all that's mine go with me. And what happened because the book is sealed they can't get the revelation but my God it got her grief from Genesis to revelation the spirit of prophecy got to bear witness to Jesus Christ surely the Lord God will do nothing without his servants the prophets yes sir yes sir y'all see this my God let's get a little bit bolder let's get the pitchfork give me um Matthew chapter 13 in verse 24, I'm going to show y'all something. There's a harvest coming. Uh, make it plain. There, there's a harvest coming. Yeah. Right? But the harvest got to be done in order, Come Jen. On. And we're going to show you the order. Jesus already spoke it, and it's also in all the prophets. What does it say, son? Matthew 13 and 24. Yes, sir. Another parable he forth unto he them. He put another parable unto them. And what was that parable? Saying, uh -huh. the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. So we got seed in a field. So ultimately, amen, a time is going to come when that seed is going to mature, and then he got to harvest it. Mm -hmm. So I need a harvesting instrument. Y'all work with me tonight. Amen. This is my harvesting instrument. Amen. And we're going to do a little harvesting tonight. Amen. Glory to God. The thing about God is that, amen, when it comes to him, he know how to harvest. I don't know how to harvest. He know how to separate. I don't know how to separate. Amen. Because I'll destroy somebody that getting ready to get saved. And the person that's saved, I'll join with them. And they really a hypocrite. He said, leave the separated up to me. Come on. Because a harvest is coming. It's coming. Glory to God. Amen. He's going to harvest, amen, with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Come on. And the world is going to separate what belonged to God and what belonged to Satan. Come on. Come on. He says, so a day of harvest is going to come. The question is, when God lifts up the harvest instrument, will you be ready? What's stopping you from being ready? When the Holy Ghost begin to go through the earth and harvest and sever the wicked from the just, what's going to stop you from being ready? Whatever it is, lose it, drop it, forsake it, burn it, trample it, spit on it, flush it, forget about it. when Jesus comes. Come on. Yes, sir. You sow good seed in this field, but what happened in verse 25? But uh -huh. while, men slept, while men slept, his enemy came his and, enemy came and, sowed tares among the and he sowed tares among the wheat and went his way and then went about his business. But but when the blade was sprung up, what happened? And brought forth fruit. Uh huh. Then appeared the tares also. I want you to know by the time you begin to work righteousness in the eyesight of God, there will always be a hindrance around you. Glory to God. But you need the hinder hindrance. Amen. You know why? Because that's the only way God can make you bigger. In order for God to make you bigger, He got to feed you. And the Bible says, Thou preparest a table for me where? In the presence of my enemies. You need your enemies so that God, I wish y'all would talk to me tonight. I don't know why stuff's so hard. Because he's trying to raise you up. He's trying to establish you. I'm trying not to preach tonight. Jesus. 
Stop cursing your enemies. Glory to God. Amen. Do good to them. Hallelujah. Pray for them. Bless them. Amen. Glory to God. Because all you're doing is you're making me fatter. You're making me stronger. You're causing God to pour into me. I thank God for my enemies. You're hungry? I'll feed you. Glory to God. Amen. I need you to live a little bit longer. Amen. Because I need this table. Amen. To grow. So that God can feed me the more. Y'all got that? Don't cast the enemies down. God might save one of them enemies. Amen. Your worst enemy can be your best friend. All right. Get that knowledge in your spirit. Amen. That's Psalm chapter 3 if you want to study. Psalm, Psalm chapter 23 if you want to study on that later. All right. Let me not be distracted. Let's be disciplined. Come on. In verse 27. Verse 27. So the servants of the householder came and what said What did they say? Him, Sir. Sir. Didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? You only sowed good seed in your field. What's going on? From whence then have it tears? Where are these tears coming from? And he said he, unto them. What did he say? An enemy hath done this. An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him. Yes. Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? Yes, sir. But he said. But he said. Nay. Nay. Lest while you gather up the tares. Yes. You rule up also the wheat with them. He said, what do you want? What do you want to happen? Let both grow together. Let both grow together until y'all need to get this glory to God this thing been read amen but the revelation has not been revealed. Read verse 30 again. Let's slow it down. Let both let both grow together. Grow together until the harvest. Until the harvest. And in the time of harvest. And in the time of harvest. I will say. I'll say to what? To the reapers. To the reapers. Gather ye together. Gather ye together. First. Second. First. Third. First. Who are you going to gather first? The tares. My God. What did he do in Noah day? He Come went on. and he got the tares and he took them away. Yeah. He said, I want you to gather first. The tares. The tares and do what? And bind them in bundles. But? To burn them. Yes. But gather the wheat. But gather the wheat. Into my barn. My God, hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, God going to deal with the wicked first. Mm -hmm. Amen. And after he deal with the wicked, he's going to gather that which is left behind Come and on. say, oh, this belongs to me. Come Let's get the interpretation. Drop down to verse 36. Then Jesus sent the what? multitude to the way. Yes, sir. And went into the house. And what happened? And his disciples came unto him, saying, Yes. Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the Lord, field. Lord, we need to understand that you're talking about wheat and tares and harvest and reapers in a field. We need you to break this thing down, Lord. We need you to make it plain for us. Mm -hmm. So what did he say? And he answered and said unto them. Bring us the revelation. He that sowed the good seed is the son of man. Amen. So Jesus is the one that sows the good seed. The field is the world. What is the field? What is the field? So the one who sows good seed is Jesus. And the field where the seed is growing is the world. Mm -hmm. Come on. The good seed. The good seed. Are the children of the kingdom. The good seed is the church. Mm -hmm. Come right? On. And I want you to remember the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Right? Glory to God. Somebody say the kingdom. The kingdom. Very important. So the, the field is the world and you got good seed, which is the children of the kingdom or the church who are in the world right now. Amen. And what else? But the tares. But the tares. Are the children of the wicked. Are those who are not saved. So here you got a field, which is the world. And you got the church and sinners dwelling in the same earth together. And we often time, Lord, do you want us to take that murder out? He said, no. Amen. Lord, you want us to take that child molester out? No. Preach to him. Yeah. Pray for him. Amen. Glory to God. Let him grow. Because that molester, glory be to God, amen, might be the next deacon in the church saved and sanctified. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. That drug dealer on the corner, Lord, you want me to take him out? Yeah. Lord, I'll deal with him right now. Yeah. He going to mess up the children in the neighborhood. No, nope. let him grow. Yeah. I'll deal with it when I come. Yeah. This is how you know that it's not God's will for saints to take up arms. All that live by the sword, die by the sword. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. No evil will come near your dwelling. 
I told you already, when the man was about to rape Sarah, Sarah didn't have to open up her mouth. She just stood in holiness and the spirit of God smoked the whole household. Yeah, come on. Yes, sir. Let God be your avenger. Mm, come on. Amen. Glory to God. Get rid of your nine millimeter. Get rid of your butcher knife. Your baseball bat. Let them all grow together. It's a day of reckoning coming. My God. Hallelujah. Amen, Mr. Bishop with the shotgun. Amen. You better get rid of it. Amen. Oh no, that's not Bible. Yes, it is. And the Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But what are they? They are mighty through God. Come on. We don't fight with rifles. We don't take up arms. When we say you don't think that I could presently call my father, he won't give me 12 legions of angels, but God might want me to suffer. Mm. Yes, sir. All right, y'all chew on, on that for a little bit. Chew the cud. Let's work on this harvest. Come on, son. What's the field? The field mm -hmm. is the world. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked. One. And what the enemy that sold them is the devil. All right. Now, what's the harvest? Is the end of the world. The harvest is the end of the world. Uh -huh. This is important. Yeah. So we're in the world, but there's an end coming to this world. Yeah. Glory to God. And that end of the world is a harvest. And what's going to happen? Mm. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. Yes, sir. As therefore, as therefore the tares are gathered uh -huh. and burned in the fire. Yes. So shall it be. So shall it be. In the end of this world. Now, what he said to them, I want you to first uh, bind up the tares. Mm -hmm. Right? So what do you want to do in verse 41? The son of man. The son of man. Shall send forth his angels. Yes. And they shall gather out mm -hmm. of his kingdom. Of his what? Kingdom. Come on. Yes, sir. What's the kingdom? The church. Mm -hmm. I told you, you ain't got to worry about the hypocrites. Because when God comes, judgment will first begin. Right in the house of God. And if it begin at us, what will the end be of them, amen, that do not obey the gospel of Jesus Christ? So he's going first in his kingdom, and he's going to gather out of it what? All things mm -hmm. that offend. Comma, and, and them which do iniquity. So Jesus is going to deal with the hypocrites in the church. Then he's going to deal with the rest who are not in the church, but they're children of the wicked one. Mm -hmm. And what is he going to do? And shall cast them mm -hmm. into a furnace of fire. Yes. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. And then what does verse 43 start saying? Then. What? Then. Then. Come on. See, Jen? God going to come and he's going to gather out everything that ain't like him. Come on. And he's going to get that thing. Give me Psalms 1. And he's going to gather out everything out of the church, out of the world that's not like him. And then mm -hmm. the righteous will shine forth yeah. as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Amen. Psalm chapter 1 and give me verse 1. Blessed uh -huh. is the man yes. that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, yes. nor standeth in the way of sinners, yes. nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Yes. But his delight, What's his delight is in the law of the Lord. And what does he do with that law? And in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And come on. And he shall be like a tree. He shall be like a what? A tree. A tree. What? Well, a tree. What kind of tree? Planted by the rivers of water. Now, if I'm planted by the rivers of water, am I easily moved? There's a revelation here. He's dealing with your salvation. Because there's a time of shaking coming because the Holy Ghost said, yet once more, I'm going to shake. And I'm not shaking the earth only, but also the heaven and the earth so that the things that cannot be shaken will remain. We've been taught we want to get out of here, but the scriptures say, I want you to remain. 
I'm trying to plant you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit. Yes. In his season. Yes. His leaf also shall not wither. Yes. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. What's verse 4 say? The ungodly. The ungodly. Someone say the ungodly. The ungodly. Yes. Mm -hmm. What are they? Are not so. They're not so. They're not planted. Mm -hmm. but, but what are they? Are like the chaff. They're the chaff. Which the wind driveth away. All right. Y'all heard of a threshing floor. Shall not stand in the judgment. And when? The judgment. Nor sinners mm -hmm. in the congregation of the righteous. Glory to God. Don't you know? Let me read you a passage. Will you go to Revelation chapter 6 real quick? I just want you to see this. This is not in my, my thought, but I just want you to see this real quick. Um, Revelation chapter um, 6. And I want you to look at verse 10. It said the ungodly will not stand in the judgment revelation 6 and verse 10 and they cried yes with a loud voice uh -huh. saying mm -hmm. how long yes O lord yes holy and true holy and true does thou not judge do you not judge and avenge and our avenge blood avenge our blood on them that uh -huh. dwell on the earth come on read verse 12 and I beheld, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. Yes, and lo, uh -huh. there was a great earthquake. There was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And what happened? And the moon became as blood. And what happened? And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. I'm gonna let you know the Lord is so powerful, and when He comes with all of that glory, my God, the sun is gonna bow down to Him. Come on. The moon gonna turn to blood. The stars going to begin to bow when the Lord Jesus begin to step into the earth atmosphere. This is why the stars will be shaken like a fig tree wow. when she got figs that ain't planted. Come on, keep reading. My God. Yes, sir. Whew. Man, I lost the word. Verse 13. Here we go. Yes. The even, stars of heaven will fall unto the earth. Even as a fig tree. Yes. Casteth her untimely fig. Yes. When she is shaken by a whiny wind. And what happens in verse 14? And the heaven. And the heaven. Departed. Like a scroll. Ah, when it is rolled together. The heaven going to ah. snap up. Glory to God. When the glory of Come God comes. He ain't coming Come secretly. Come on. Yeah. Revelation 1, 7 said, Behold, he coming with clouds and every eye will see him. Come on. When that God come with all glory, the whole earth is going to mourn because of him. Why? Because it's the harvest time. Come on. The flood is now coming. Come on. Keep reading, son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the heaven departed as a scroll. Yes, sir. When it's rolled together. Mm -hmm. And every mountain. Every mountain. And island. And island. Were moved out oh. of their places. Oh, can you imagine that? Glory be to God. Amen. Men's heart will fail them, the Bible says. Amen. Glory to God. The seas will be roaring and falling. Mountains will be moving out of their place at the coming of Jesus Christ. Mm. You know the powerful thing? Is that the Bible says when you see these things, look up. For your redemption, John. Lord, I was waiting on you. My God, in that day, we ain't going to be scared. We're going to feel the power of God. Oh, Jesus is coming. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Something's going to be happening in my body because this mortal is about to put on immortality. This corruption is going to put on incorruption. I ain't worried about nothing in the earth. My God is coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The kings of the earth and the 
great men. Glory to God. That's why I say, hold on and don't let your life consist of the abundance of things that you possess. Mm -hmm. I'm full of these liars whose message is based on some emotional discomfort that you got. You better stand up and endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Every time I turn around, your head hung down. Lift up your head, all you kids, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory come on. shall come in. Come on. Yes, sir. Verse 15, the kings of the earth and the great men and the great men and the rich men and the rich men and the chief captains and the, chief captains, and the mighty men and the mighty men and every bond this man. it don't matter your estate I don't matter I don't care glory to God what your occupation is how much money you made what your status is you could be a governor or a president when Jesus comes everybody got to bow to the king of kings every lord in the earth got to bow to the lord of lords Kings of the earth, uh -huh. great men, yeah. rich men, yeah. chief, captains, chief captains, mighty men, mighty men, and every bondman, bondman, and every free man, free man, hit. What they do? Hit. They hit themselves. Where? In the den. In the den. And in the rocks. And in the, the rocks of the mountains. What they say? They said to the mountains. They and said rocks, to the mountains and the rocks. Fall on us. Fall on us. And hide us. Hide us from the face of See, him. because they didn't hide in a secret place. My God, come on. Yes, sir. My God. You better get in the secret place now. Or you're going to have to find a rock to crawl under later. Jesus. Hid themselves in the tent mm -hmm. and in the rocks of the mountains. And what they say to the mountains and the rocks? Fall on us. Fall on us. And hide us. And what? Hide us. Hide us. From the face. From the face. Of him that sitteth on the throne. Yes. And from the wrath of the Lamb. Why? For the great day. The great mm -hmm. day. Of his wrath is come. His wrath has come. And who? Who? Shall be able to stand. Therefore the ungodly will not Woo! stand in the judgment. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. They are like the chaff yes, that the wind drives away. Yeah. Mm. Only the wheat remains. Come on. Yes, sir. My God. Y'all got this? <laughs> My God. Thank you. Mm. It's 807. Y'all good or y'all want a little bit more? I want to show you something. This is something that's overlooked. We don't understand mm -hmm. that the judges and the kings and the prophets that were risen up in the earth, they all testified of Jesus Christ. Moses said, a prophet like unto me. Yeah. Shall the Lord God raise up from among your brethren unto him. Yeah. Shall you hear? Amen. They will speak. Amen. Until Shiloh come and unto him shall all the gathering of the people be. Certain men got named with the name of God to carry the revelation. And so there's certain things that we miss. For example, Joshua is in battle fighting against the Amalekites. And Moses had to lift up his hand with wood in his hand. People missed it was wood. Why? He was telling you, glory be to God, that the Son of God was going to be hung on a tree and the element that would be used to crucify him would be wood. But God wanted to make the revelation more plain. So Moses, when he got weary, he sat down on a rock. That rock was Christ. But God wants to put more revelation. So as long as his hands were stayed up, right. right in the left, yeah. Joshua, whose name is Jesus, yeah, prevailed in battle. But when they let his hands down, then the enemy began to overcome. Yeah. Glory be to God. What was he saying? As long as your hands and your body is crucified with Jesus and you rest on him because he is your rock, You'll have victory over the enemy. Yes, People miss the revelation. Yes, 
We preach it like glory to God to make people happy and shout. But the comfort of the scripture that so long as I'm crucified with Christ and the world unto me, I will prevail over the enemy. Why is Joshua so important? Because his name is interpreted in the New Testament yes. as Jesus. Jesus was fighting for them in battle while their faith was in his redemptive work. Amen. You want to know something else about Jesus? He also received the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want to show you something real quick. Give me uh, Revelation chapter 8 verse 2 and also verse 6. Revelation chapter 8 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. And I saw mm -hmm. the seven angels. I saw seven angels. Which stood before God. How many angels? Seven. Glory to God. Angels also at times appear as men. Amen. Priests and leaders are also called angels. It's glory to God. Amen. So they're written to, amen, to the angel of the church of Ephesus and the Sardis and Smyrna. And, and he writes to, amen, men as angels who are set up as watchmen mm -hmm. over the people. They are also priests. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. He saw seven angels which stood where? Before God. Amen. And to them were given. Seven trumpets. Amen. Verse 6. And the seven angels. Yes. Which had the seven trumpets. Yes. What happened? Prepared, prepared themselves to sound. Prepared themselves to sound. I want you to know that that which is done. Amen. Glory to God. Was already foreshadowed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. So that we have comfort of the scriptures concerning how the end of the world is going to fall down. Mm -hmm. Give me the book of Jesus or Joshua. Mm -hmm. Chapter 6. And verse 8. And I want to show you something that was missed. What happened? And it came to pass. It came to pass. When Joshua uh -huh. had spoken unto the people. Yes, what happened? That the seven priests. What did they do? Bearing the seven trumpets mm -hmm. of ram's horn. Yes. Passed on before the Lord. And what did they do? And blew with the trumpets. Yes. And the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. Give me verse 16. And it came to pass yes. at the seventh time mm -hmm. when the priests yes. blew with the trumpets, yes. Joshua said unto the people, shout. What did he say? Shout. He told them to shout. For the Lord hath given you the city. And verse 17. And the city yes. which shall be accursed even it mm -hmm. and all that are therein mm -hmm. to the Lord. Yes. Only Rahab. Only who? Rahab. Only Rahab. The harlot yes. shall live. And she and all that are with her. Where are they? In the house. Okay, come on. Because she hid the messengers that we sent. Let's give verse 20. And so the people mm -hmm. shouted. Yes. When the priests mm -hmm. blew with the trumpet. Yes, sir. And it came to pass. It came to pass. When the people heard the sound of the trumpet. Yes. And the people shouted with a great shout. That what happened to the wall? That the wall fell down flat. Listen, that wall completely collapsed. This is important because it's giving you revelation of how the end of the world is going to fold up because Jesus is coming. But he, had, he sent seven angels with trumpets first and these trumpets right now are standing and they're waiting for the command to sound. Because I want you to know, according to the scriptures, the Lord just ain't coming, but he's coming and he's going to send. The Bible says the Lord himself will descend with a shout, mm. with the voice of the archangel and with the trump. trump. Come on. Oh God. When God come to destroy, he's going to have a trumpet and a shout come before him. Let you know that Joshua or Jesus is about to come to destroy the world. But listen, when I destroy, I got to save somebody. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. Somebody got to be saved. So I'm going to come and I'm going to destroy the wicked, but I'm going to save somebody. And that somebody going to be left behind. Come on. Come on. So what happens? The people shouted with the priests. There's seven of them, and they got seven trumpets. It had to be this way because the Lord was announcing the revelation of Jesus Christ in the end of the world. Yes, Come on, son. 
And it came to pass. It came to pass. At the seventh time. Yes, sir. When the priest blew with the trumpet. Yes, sir. Joshua said unto the people. What do you say to the people? Shout. Sir? Shout. For the Lord hath given you the city. Yes. And the city shall be a curse, mm -hmm. even it, mm -hmm. and all that are therein. Yes. To the Lord, only Rahab. Only Rahab. The harlot. What verse you in? Verse 17. Verse 17. Only Rahab. Glory to God. The harlot shall live. Yes. She and all that are with her yes. in the house. All right, give me verse 21. And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city. So they destroyed everything that was in the city. What did they destroy? Both man. Man. And woman. Woman. Young. Young. And old. You ain't too young to get saved. When Jesus come, glory to God. Amen. He's looking for one thing to separate you from everybody else. And if you don't got it, I don't care your age. I don't care your status. I don't care if you're a ruler. I don't care if you're a king. I don't care if you're rich. If you're poor, I'm coming. And if you don't got a mark, I'm going to show y'all in a minute. The only thing that saved Rahab was a mark. Glory be to Woo. God. Come on, Joshua. Come on, keep reading, son. Where you at? Verse 22. But Joshua said unto the two men. Let's read verse 21. I'm sorry. Oh utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman. And woman. Young. Young. And old. Old. And ox. Ox. And sheep. Sheep. And ass. Ass. With the edge of the sword. With the edge of the sword. Kill everything. Yeah. But. But. Joshua. Joshua said. Unto the two men. What did he say to them, that son? That spied out the country. Yes. Go uh -huh. Into the harlot's house. Yes. And bring out thence the woman. Go into the harlot's house and bring out thence the woman. And all that she has. And all that she has. Don't you know when God save you, he save your stuff also? Come on. Come on. Amen. Woo! Hey. Yeah. Every car on the block got stolen, Come but on. they left mine. Come on. Glory to God. Why? Because I was saving everything that pertained to me. Ah. Yes, sir. It's written in the scripture. He said, bring her out ah. and all, all that she had as, as you swore unto her. And what happened? And the young men that were spies went in and brought out Rahab yes. and her father yes. and her mother yes. and her brethren uh -huh. and all that she had. All that she had. And they brought out all her kindred uh -huh. and left them without the camp of Israel. Listen, glory to God. Don't you know they kill man and woman, young and old, boy and girl, ox, sheep. They kill everything but the edge of the sword. And then after they kill everything, they say, go get Rahab. My God. What happened? One was taken and another one was Y'all mighty quiet tonight. What happened to the wall? The wall fell down. I want to show you something about that. Give me Joshua chapter 2 yes. and verse 15. Woo. Glory be to God. Come on, son. You, you yes. with me? Hallelujah. Then yes, Lord. She then she let them down. Yes. By a cord. By a cord. Through the window. Through the window. For her house. Her house was where? Upon the town wall. And where was it again? And she dwelt she, upon the wall. My God, the wall fell down flat. Killed everybody on the wall, but somebody had a mark. So her place, God covered it with his wind. He said, Oh, this is in the secret place. I'm trying to save somebody tonight. Come on, son. And she said, Unto them. What's what she said? Get you to the mountain. Get to the mountain. Let the pursuers meet you. Yes. And hide yourselves there three days. Yes, sir. Until the pursuers be returned, and afterward may you go your way. And what the men say to her? We will be blameless. We will be blameless. Of this thine oath. Yes. Which thou hast made a sword. Yes, what they had. Well, so what they say? Behold. Behold. When we come. Into the land. Into the land. Thou shalt bind you this. You go bind this. Line of scarlet thread. Line of what thread? Scarlet. What color is scarlet? Red. My God. She had the revelation of the blood of of Jesus on her house on the wall so when the destroyers came he said when I see the blood all right I'm done tonight I'm done that wall fell flat but I see the blood holding one taken 
another one left. They kill the whole city. Say, bring Rahab alive. So shall it be in the coming of Jesus Christ. God bless you all tonight. Glory to God. It's in the word, people. The vision of all has become like a book that is sealed. But the Holy Ghost has come to open back up the book. You can see it, Brother Brian. Glory be to God. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's it, Mother. Get in the Word. Stay there. Stay there. Stay till Jesus comes. Amen? Glory be to God. So again, a thousand will fall by your side. Ten thousand at your right side but it won't come near your dwelling. My God, hallelujah, it's too much Bible, glory. I could preach this from Genesis to Revelation, amen. It's too much Bible. Get into the ark, dwell in the secret place. Amen, glory to God. Next time I'm with you, the Lord permit, we'll talk about the seal of the Father. Amen, and how you need that seal. Amen, glory to God. When Jesus come, he's gonna take away the wicked and bind them. Amen. And then he's going to bring the salvation of those who belong to him. We shall be changed. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Come on and stand to your feet. Come on, praise the Lord. Everybody release that shout. That's why we got to shout. We shout because the Lord is coming. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Lord, help me to always walk by faith and not by sight. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Greet one another in love. We love you. Praise the Lord, everybody.